Hey guys, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm so glad you're here. Today is gonna to be kind of different from my usual videos. I'm going to show you how I repaint my phone case today. I've repainted my phone case multiple times, but I think I'm gonna try and do something different. I've also learned from a lot of my mistakes. So if you're thinking about painting your phone case, one, it's a great way to save money so you don't have to go out and buy a new case. But also if you have a clear case like mine, it starts to get that like yellowy, orangey film on it. I don't even know how to explain it, but I think it's something to do with the heat of the phone. Anyway, it discolors it. So I usually just paint over that. I will tell you kind of the supplies you'll need if you're gonna do this as well. I have a cardboard box to lay down on the counter, but you can use uh, newspaper. I just didn't have any, so I just found a cardboard box. I have a paper plate for mixing paints, but if I had a plastic plate, that's what I would use. I have a cup full of warm water, paint brushes, cheap ones off of Amazon, as well as cheap acrylic paint from Amazon. Those are the supplies. I am going to take off my phone case yeah, it's getting pretty bad. I am going to take off the paint first. Now I've tried multiple methods in the past of removing the paint. I'm sure there's other ways to do it. If you have like paint thinner, that would probably work really well, but I don't have that. I fill up something with warm water and I kind of let it soak in there for a while and the paint gets soft and then I just scrape it off. Now I will say that I started with this method, but then I looked online and they said if you put rubbing alcohol and mix it with water, that the paint should come off easier. So I figured, what the heck, might as well try it. So I let it sit in there for a little while and it did scrape off a little bit easier, but this is kind of a time consuming project. I also tried to wrap a paper towel in to see if it would soak up any of the paint and it worked decently. So this is what we were left with. This is what my case looks like. It's pretty hideous. And then I just gathered my paints. I was going for kind of a terracotta look, but obviously depending on what you want, you can mix whatever paints you want. I typically like to just mix for quite a while to find the right shade that I'm going for. Sometimes I don't even know what shade I'm going for. Just keep mixing but remember what you mix because if you run out of paint, you're gonna to need to try and make that same combination. I'm just adding the first layer. You can do a pretty thin layer on the first coat. I ended up doing three coats, so this is just the first layer. But the thing that is so, so important is that you let each layer dry. That was something that I have definitely learned from my mistakes. I get impatient and I don't let it dry and the paint starts to come up when you put the second coat on. So I let it dry. It does take a little while, but you can speed up the process. Later on, I get like a lid from my salad and just kind of fan it. And that helps to dry it a little bit quicker, but you know, just go along your business. You can pop on a show on Netflix and just let it sit and try. Also make sure to get the sides of the phone, which can be a little bit tricky because <laughs> you're not wanting to touch the sides, but just take your time. It's worth it to take your time and let everything dry. So like I said, I ended up going with three different coats for this. And now we're gonna do the splatter. So I just grabbed some white paint, dip it in the water a couple times, and then I kind of like wring out the extra. And then on my finger, I just kind of stroke down and it just splatters all over. You can kind of control where it goes and the density of it. I didn't want too big of splatter paints, but I kind of liked how this first coat came out. Although I did go in with another coat, as you see there is there's more splatter paints. So I did two coats of splatter paint and tried to get the sides as well. And this is what it looks like. Thank you. 
All right, well, this is the finished product. I think it turned out actually so much better than I thought, especially considering I'd never done the splatter technique before, but I am just super happy with it. I think it looks really cool, but even the front has that like kind of terracotta. That's kind of the color I was going for. It was like a terracotta color. And obviously, if you end up doing this to your phone case, you can add more colors. You can put like masking tape to mask off where you don't want splatter paint. There's a lot of different variations you can do with a design like this. I'm not super creative, so I just stuck with the white splatter paint, but I actually like the minimal look of it. So hopefully you guys liked this. If you end up wanting to do it to your phone case, that'd be super cool. You should let me know. Hopefully you enjoyed this. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.